The FNAF movie has been gracing screens for more than a fortnight, yet the excitement surrounding it remains palpable. Fans are abuzz with anticipation, engaging in fervent discussions about the potential directions the franchise could venture into next. The film has sparked hot debates within the community, as certain elements have left the fandom divided and deeply invested in deciphering their meanings. While some FNAF fans have theorized that the doll-like animatronic in FNAF was merely a placeholder for Circus Baby, the actuality is that this character, named Ella, is an important entity originating from the novels. Ella was created by Henry Emily, a visionary who co-founded Freddy Fazbear's Pizza and engineered the franchise's iconic animatronics. This particular doll was created for his daughter, Charlie, and in the wake of her tragic demise at the hands of William Afton, Charlie is believed to possess the doll. Henry also believed Della harbored Charlie's spirit, and so he constructed four robotic forms, enabling the mechanical Charlie to undergo the essential phases of growth, toddlerhood, childhood, adolescence, and adulthood. Each version of Charlie's animatronic was imbued with emotions reflecting aspects of her death. Ella, as toddler Charlie, embodied sorrow. The child Charlie animatronic was a manifestation of rage. Teen Charlie carried the burden of remorse and bewilderment. The adult Charlie remained incomplete, as Henry's life was cut short before he could finish it, attempting to create one last animatronic to end his own despair. In the novels, particularly the Silver Eyes trilogy, Teen Charlie delves into her past and eventually faces the reality of her own existence. After Henry's demise, William Afton stole the unfinished adult Charlie animatronic, which boasted the ability to alter its appearance. He transformed it into Circus Baby, intending it to be his show's star. But tragically, Circus Baby takes the life of Afton's own daughter, Elizabeth, leading to her spirit taking residence within Circus Baby. In Five Nights at Freddy's, the fourth closet, Teen Charlie is confronted by Circus Baby, who discloses the intricacies of their shared existence. The end sees Teen Charlie resort to using one of her father's lethal contraptions to simultaneously annihilate herself, Ella, and Circus Baby, seemingly concluding their narrative. There's no doubt the FNAF lore is complicated, as it continuously evolves and challenges theories with every addition to the franchise. The novels have risen to prominence within the lore, serving as narratives that complement the core story and sometimes merge into the video game continuity, as seen with the mimic in FNAF, Security Breach Ruin. Lately, the Fazbear's Frights and Tales from the Pizzaplex book series have redirected the narrative's focus, moving past Afton as the central antagonist and hinting at a comeback for Circus Baby. As the story unfolds across the franchise, characters like Ella and Circus Baby, particularly as delineated in the Silver Eyes trilogy, have been prominent. In fact, Circus Baby steps into the limelight as the series' chief antagonist, emerging as the successor to William Afton's villainous legacy. Before Security Breach, fan theories often portrayed Circus Baby as the primary antagonist, a mastermind manipulating Afton. These speculations were fueled by the Fazbear's Fright epilogues. With Ruin's release, new questions arose as the mimic took center stage, yet the DLC's numerous allusions to Circus Baby rekindled interest in her character. And Ella's role in the Five Nights at Freddy's movie is a significant narrative element, reflecting creator Scott Cawthon's deliberate approach to storytelling. Her presence aligns the film with a series of recent releases that suggest the possible resurgence of Circus Baby. This includes FNAF, Security Breach Ruin, The Fast Bears Frights and Tales from the Pizzaplex series, various merchandise, and the unexpected launch of Chica in Space last month, all of which have featured elements related to Circus Baby. Although the film's storyline might be distinct from other materials, Ella's inclusion is pivotal, potentially introducing more complex lore to cinema audiences. Additionally, an intriguing teaser for future developments in Ella's story was offered to viewers who watched through the movie's credits, with the enigmatic sound of my grandfather's clock hinting at the potential involvement of Charlie's video game counterpart, the puppet. But we want to know what your theories are on Circus Baby and the appearance of Ella Doll in the FNAF movie. Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content, and thanks for watching.